Hello everyone, I'm Cristian Negulescu and today we'll talk about new features from the Salesforce Activity Extension Package. So, download the Salesforce Activity Extension Package from your iPad Go or your iPad Studio. If you want, uh, you can install it from here. You go to all packages, write Salesforce and you'll find the version. It's 854 now. Um, so what's new? So, first, on the connection, you have a timeout in seconds. By default, the timeout is around 100 seconds. But the idea is like this. You can have a, a server that to respond very slow and probably is not enough to execute the query and so on. So you can put here it, your timer that you want. So if you don't, if you, it's not completed, by default it will be 100 seconds. But you can put, for example, 600 seconds. That will be 10 minutes. Also server has some limitation and so on. But it's important, even you have a very um, slow server to, be, to have the ability to set this time. Not mandatory, but you have to keep your in a particular case, you can use it. Next, you are able now to, uh, so inside of the wizard, uh, when you select something on a query, in the past it was only two elements. Yeah, so it was uh, element that something. Now you can put how many you want. For example, here I put four elements. Yeah, object, 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 and the end element. So the system will be able to return everything, yeah? So we'll be able to extract all the elements, all the steps and so on. So you can put how many elements you put here should be correct. Next, on the get big data, you can have, for example, I was on an instance that I extract 1 million. Okay, so I extract 1 million data, uh, 1 million rows. So here I come with a, with a new idea. So you can have this in a data table and then you write the data table as usual. You can say that I want directly to a file and this will write a CSV file. You put the name of the file here like this, the folder and the name of the file, and the system will write a file for you. Or you can have both file and data table. So you can choose if you have huge data, what you want to do with, uh, with this data. Because like I said, you can have a huge amount. I'll extract around 1 million rows. Good, next. We have reports and on the reports, there is a discussion and it's a long one. So I create a function that we have until now execute report. Yeah, you just give the idea of the report and then you'll get a data table. But some people want to change the, uh, the filters on the report and so on. Let's, let's understand the discussion with the report. The system is very powerful to be able to get anything from SQL, SO, SO, um, um, SOL, and so on, yeah? So you can, uh, if you want, if you know what you want to extract, you can write here on the code. But there are some persons that they want data from a report. So they want a specific data, yeah? So for example, I have here, I will, I will show you exactly. Uh, I have here a report. I don't need the, exactly the, the report. I want the data from my report because the report was, uh, the report was already um, created. I want to change the filters for the report. And uh, so I go here, I can change the filters. I change the filters for the report and then um, I want the specific data from here. This is not so easy to do. So I come with a, with a dynamic way to, to do this stuff. So what's the idea? In your iPad Studio, you will have this execute report with filters. Yeah? And you provide him the name of the report and you provide him a list of filters. Yeah? So you have multiple string values and you'll put here a list of uh, your filters. Yeah? We'll see what is the logic. For me, I have only one filter now. So this, this uh, activity will call some Apex API. So the system, for this to work, you need to go to developer console. And on the developer console, you need to copy paste three Apex API functions. 
that you can move, that you, that you can modify how you want. I will put all this uh, code on the internet. You will find it on the uh, uh, um, Stack Overflow and you can modify how you want. So first procedure, it's UAPAT call, yeah? So the system will take the report name. So the first item will be the report name and then you'll take all the filters. You will make a select on the report name. We'll get the report ID. And then the system will set the value for your filters, yeah? So you will see that there is a procedure from where you get the order of your filters and then you just provide the values, yeah? And in this way, the report will be run by the uh, run with filters, with your new filters. Next, there is another procedure that will check when the report will finish because the report will be executed on the server and you, the system will check when the report is finished. And the last thing is the result, yeah? So when the report is finished, this procedure will be, will be called. And then from here, from the report, I give you a simple example. I will put more code on the internet to, to see. Because from that report, you need to extract only what you want, not the full report, because it's, it's hard to, to get the, the full report. So you can put a for each, you can go to rows, you can select the columns. If it's group, you can have groups. And you return only what you want on that data. Here, you return a list of data. And here on UAPAT Studio, you will get a data table, yeah? With all your list. Let's uh, run this somehow. And let's put it like this. Let's say that I will call report Christy with this data for the filter, yeah? And I'll run it. And uh, um, we'll see the result. So here is the result. I have 24 lines of data. What, why I have these 24 lines of data? Because from my report, I say, I want to see, let's go on the, um, so I want the details from, uh, column two and from column three for all the rows. See, I make here for each and I get the columns. And basically because I have 12 rows here and I get all the, so I have 12 rows on the report and I get both column two and column three. I have 20, uh, 24 lines of data. So basically you run the report and then you extract just what you want from that report. You will see, you'll get all the uh, code on um, Stack Overflow. Thank you very much for watching and remember follow me on the YouTube to see uh, more videos about Salesforce service now, Zendesk and other software that uh, are integrated with UAPAT. Bye bye, have a good one. Stay